G'day guys, Matt here and this is Farming Simulator 50, my how to farm series. The series where I show you how to play the game properly because the tutorial was so bad. Yeah, I couldn't really do a sheep thing. Anyways, today's uh, video is about sheep. Um, this is actually a re-recording because I found out I didn't turn my mic on on the settings of my fraps because somehow I end up recording something with my mic off or something, uh, I'm not I'm just sure why. So anyway, so I'm redoing this and hopefully I'll do this much more better and quicker so it'll be easier to, um, for, well, it'll be much shorter for you guys pretty much. So what you really need is basically one or two tractors of, of this tractor and then you need it's uh, a pallet fork and its attachment. You need a lo loading wagon. This one's a good one. Um, you need a you need uh, this mower, and you will need eventually a. Oops, not that one. You need this trailer. <coughs> Uh, what else? Also, you will need at least a hundred kilo weight, uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so I'll worry about the trailer later. What you want to do is grab one of these vehicles. So I'm going to grab this one. Now, to transport a lot of stuff in a short amount of time, you want to equip the fork part then go around clip the weights under the yeah it should have grabbed this a bit later grab that then go to the trailer not drop the weight there you go and attach that trailer. So that's one, that's pretty much one good trip and that's all good. And you don't want to put the forks down right there because it does that glitch thing like where the, that detaches which it looks weird. That happens online a lot. And then with this one you want to attach the bow at the front. and its counterpart at the back. The way to do this is a bit e easily easy to um there we go. Easy because what happens is you can you know I'll show you here. Turn those both on and just drive forward and see it's creating the grass on the ground. And, they, and that's how you pick up the grass. And usually this is all you really need. So you're spending a roughly about uh, 300 so far. Around 27. 40. Plus the weight is like 600, 800, so I won't worry about that. And the trailer. So you're spending about about just under 400, yeah, 400 thousand for a basic setup. You want to head up to uh, the top right there, next to Field Four. You got the sheep icon next to a little town. And sort of, um, you want to find places with a long stretch to do all this mowing. Um, mostly something like this stretch here. And you want to try and keep it straight as possible so you don't miss any 
spots. Make little alt tabs. And I think you need at least a good uh, about 20 odd percent in your trailer to really start off. But um, once you you know start off, you can go around and build this trailer up. So that should be alright for a star. Now also the sheep are 300 each. Um, so that doesn't come in total of the actual um, cost of the vehicles. And you would need a lot of sheep uh, to fill out the pallets. So here's the spot. I'm going to reverse this up. good thing is you don't need to buy the area just yet now the reason why I only did that much is because we got bugger all sheep so if we go over here go to the animals tab click on the sheep buy one then just hit enter to buy the rest which I think is sort of silly doing this but um, but um you know, what they should have done is have like a like say like 300 per sheep so 300 times one and you go like enter how many you want and you buy it once and say you, you want to buy a sheep for this much I'm going to buy like 50 just for now to show you guys what's what and then later on I'm going to buy like 200 alright so the game will probably only show about 10 or 20 of them um, but technically you do have 50 sheep Um, just going to see any other spots. Now, as you can, one thing I would recommend you guys download um, is that little lawnmower from the previous game, which really helps out a lot. Um, I found it on the website. I should have downloaded it and put a description below. Actually, if I go, I might go and find it after I pause this and download it and see if it works properly on the game. Anyways, I have I have brought fuel ten for like 40, 40 something k, and did it up with grasses for this last bit. I accidentally planted canola, and I was trying to keep a gap between the actual field actual field and the, like the normal grass but the AI decided to go oh you missed a spot let me cover the rest up for you there you go alright so I did field 10 I did it up with grass and that's another way you can do it and I think it's reasonable size you know it's not that big and after you do like two or three lines for that with this windrow um, you will pick up a lot of grass so I'm going to let that grow and also I'm going to take this over Alright, so when you get this big long trailer, it also I want to try and find like the trailer with the um, slides, um, the doors on the sides that slide like those Coke trailers, or those Coca-Cola trailers, um, like I play used in the uh, 
I don't know if I used it in my tutorial series, but I did use it in my Let's Play of 2013. So what you want to try and do is line this up with the bar, unclip it, I'm going to use the weight as a uh, sort of a, a buffer, yeah, a buffer, and sort of push the trailer, but you don't want to push it right, oops, right to the edge, because then you'll end up having trouble getting it out. So you just want to use it sort of, use the barn as sort of a, a point where, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't, like, say there's no gap that will tip over the barrel, um, that's probably going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, we'll come to that bridge. Alright, so, when you don't want to use the forks and that, you want to put down the, the weight first, and then make sure the forks are pointing upwards, so you can take the actual part off without taking much off. Like that. So, when you go up to it, to hook back up to it, um, you won't have trouble. See, it gives me the option to attach to it. Just get this sort of neatly in. I don't want to push it all the way in. Um, and, whoop! Nearly hit that. N nearly hit the um, wool. -woo. So, yeah, so this is where the wool spawns. Um, you push I if you go all the way to the animals tab. And you'll see in the sheep cut array 17% brackets 0. When that goes to 2000 and in the brackets 100%, you want to take the pallet off so it can re reset its um, um, cycle. Because if it stays like that, it's not going to make any more until you remove it. So what I would, what I'm going to do is I'm going to that that let four four pallets um, onto the trailer, and I'm going to take the trailer to the shop. Um, which is right next to the actual shop, like next to 23 with a all the yarn is. Um, I'm going to take it there and that's where it's going to sell. And the thing is I found out is you don't really need to off, off, offload them, which is good because of where it is, it's a pain in the arse. So yeah, so I'm going to go and check if I can get that thumb mower to, to use and if I can then I'll put the link in the description below where you guys can find it and um, if not well um, you will see the first pallet loaded <clears throat> alright guys welcome back I have actually downloaded it and the way to download it will, will be a do ah, will be a link in the description and how to install it is pretty much easy. You go to your uh, start menu, my documents or documents, uh, my games, farming simulator 15, then in the mods folder you put the zip folder straight in there. Easy to install, it takes two seconds, it's only a five megabyte download. It's pretty much sort of a rip of 2013's one, but at least it's something. Um, yeah, so it does the job anyway. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't fill up that fill it up pretty fast. You want to stop once you reach the top because it will just keep on mowing. Somehow, it has the normal horn. It looks pretty up to date. Like it's a bit shiny and all that. I wonder how it looks when it gets dirty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to there and stop just driving it because it's only going 12 k's an hour.
Yes, I don't care. <laughs> and I should have put things down. <laughs> Remember kids, don't try this at home. Oh, of course, I was facing it the wrong way. Oh well. Ah, screw it. Wink. <laughs> Anyways, um, and it works just the same as the back part of the loading wagon. You want to sort of uh, back up, but not too much, like about there. Show. Oh, Q, sorry. So yeah, it's not. It's nice to have something like this, and it should have been in the in the game from default. I guess they couldn't give the license to use Amazon. What was that? Hmm. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to speed up time. I'm also going to buy a hell of a lot of sheep. I got 52 so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to doing a load of the little wagon, the little mower, while I'm waiting for the crates to, the wool crate to fill up. And um, also the main, uh, the field 10 grass to grow. Let me know when you're getting sick. <laughs> uh, Oh, I should not really do this to my enter key, but uh, it's really going to keep me. <sighs> Smash to win. <laughs> I'm not really pushing it that hard. Like I'm not, I'm not going like sort of thing. Going like sort of softish. Oh, my hands tired. Um, Alright, so I got 200. Um, I'm going to sell the, that tractor and all that. So I don't really need it now. Um, oh yeah, selling the sheep's going to be hell. Fortunately, the sheep are going to stay starving after this. Cause I, since my last few recordings were mucked up, oops, mucked up, um, I'm just going to reset the file. reset the file after this. Also I'm gonna might do a quick tutorial on how to install mods as well as um, how to change the game settings. Cause um if I push I and I go to my wheat, see how much wheat I got. I was doing that Oh shit. I gotta do my dirt ser series again. Uh, actually I might hold that one off and make that as a experiment video since it was I was planning to do that after. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do a experiment videos after like sort of like a Mythbusters way. Oh, I can't believe I didn't switch on the bloody mic. Oh well shit happens. Actually, is that a big enough gap to get in? Oh, look at this, look at this! <laughs> oh, look, someone wants to wait. Matt's uh, farming simulator tutorial video where we run over a sheep and we don't give a fuck. <laughs> I 
This is actually kind of cool. Then why I keep pushing R? What if I can peel it on, peel it over on this side? Oh, it would be so cool if I could. No, I don't have to drive around. No, okay. What if I sort of pull it in like this? No, okay. It would be cool if I could do that, then um saves me doing this round trip. I might actually quickly move that out of the way, that mower. Should it work? Oh good, it works without me um, doing it. easy to turn. Oh, I switched that off, didn't I? Yeah, see this is why I said you gotta watch what you're doing. Ah, oh, yeah, now it's not gonna... Oh no, it picks it up. No? Yeah, this is what... This is one side effect it does. Um, it doesn't pick it up. Oh, oh, it just has to stay like that. So yeah, you got to watch that. It, it um, it does. I think if you have the picking up on, it doesn't drop it, but it still mows it. And there's no way I can get an actual trailer in there, so. It just has to be like that. Let's uh, let's try that. All right, so I mow that bunch. All right, so it doesn't. Yeah, I was right. I don't know why I keep pushing O. To be honest. Oh. Oh, it's almost there. You don't want to go too close to the, to the, like the railing there, because sometimes, um, in the 2013, if you do it too close, you end up picking it up. You get like trapped there. Let that do it. So, I know I'm doing this at night time, and I despise doing it at night time but I want to show you guys how it works yes and this is the best way to show you alright and this is not the best way to pick up a ballot a pallet no ballot No. Oh, 
You know, what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna load it up because I want to show you guys how to do it properly and in the daytime. But yeah, so that's what happens when you reset. The grass is not done. I don't think I'm really going to mow the big grass area now. Because I just want to show you guys how it all works. Hmm. Alright, so I'll be back when I get four bales up uh, four pallets. Alright, so we're back. This is the last one out of the four. Now, if you're also wondering if you um, if you're like say you knocked it over uh, the new pallet over by accident, as if you rearrange it back onto the um, cement slab, um, it will still count as that particular port. As long as you don't like sort of move it away from the actual pallet if that makes any sense. There we go. Maybe if I can sort of push the trailer back. Also, I didn't really need to mow any more lawn. It seemed to be enough to take care of that. I think it was about two days worth. Or a day's worth, I'm not sure. I should not be really doing it like this, but... And I think the first two, yeah, the first two bullet uh, pallets are all uh, solid, so you could easily use those to push it back a bit, like so, sort of like this. But the ones on top, like middle and top, they are ghost through, I guess. It's they're non-solid. And also, if you do tend to tip your barrel over, which I could show you here, actually. see if I can show you. That's how you properly pick it up. Now, say if you did accidentally tip it over and it tips over, something like that. Oh, stay down. That's where I was trying to show you. Now, say if you did tip it over like that, best way I can tell you guys to to get it back at, on its right side is to pick it up upside down. So try and pick it up fully upside down. You might want to try and do it like that. Then put your forks all the way up and straight down. Let it drop and it should technically bounce. It should technically be on its side or actually fully flipped over. Let's try that again. Probably because I don't have them fully digged in. Let's try again. There you go. Something like that. So that's a way you can do it, or you can try and shove it into a wall. Mostly try and do it like that. But if you do it properly, you should not should have no drama.
I think my mouse is almost out of battery because it doesn't seem to move the actual thing. Might have to change them after this video. Yes, I do use a wireless mouse. I use a G602 gaming wireless mouse. Very useful, does the job, especially playing like uh, World of Tanks or uh, Company of Heroes 2. I can actually map it, map it to make this one work. I also use a G9, G19S um, keyboard. <coughs> I do have another wireless uh, Logitech mouse and keyboard next to my bed because I tend to use my computer a lot more than than um than um my actual TV. Now hopefully this won't fling out. Good. Alright. Now, like I said, you don't really need to take the um, tractor with the fork, but I don't want to go over and grab the other one, so I'm going to use this one. So you want to head downward to field 23, but more of the uh, left of it, where that wool, yarn of wool is. Now, if a pellet does fall off between now and then, I'm not going to worry about picking it up. Because you see how much hassle it is to load it up. And that's why I want to get that trailer I mentioned earlier, which with the has the canopy type doors on the side. Oops. Push nine. I'm gonna cut across fifteen. Oh, I didn't realise that was a hill. Good thing is, this is sort of a lightish load, so it's not going to be that much drama. Oh, those tracks are still there. Guess I didn't do that much travelling. Like I said before, you don't need to really unload them manually. So I got four, 14 mil 690. So they're worth it. They're worth between like 10 grand or so. So this is sort of a cheapy way to do the animals. Um, chickens are another way to do it cheaply, like. You buy like a bunch of chickens and collect the eggs, but you do need to travel to the chicken icons next to 8 and 18 <coughs> to drop them off. Uh, I think this is sort of a much better way. <coughs> but, um, it really, it's really up to you guys. So that's how you do the sheep. Um, Of course, I didn't sh show off another way this way with the mower. This is how would you do it if you need a separate field.
but if you have that grasshopper tractor you can do it much more cheaper much more easier you might not even need to buy build 10 because if you if you sneak into that gap you can just mow the sheep's area because technically they're not really eating that stuff because you, know, you need to do it in the trough Oh, really? Get out. Just make sure that's a good speed to push it over there. <laughs> it's still rolling. So this is another way you can do it. And after you fill it up, take it back down here. And you load it on, on the back here. So yeah, you could do it like that, but if you download this um, and you sneak it into there, that gap, you know, you don't really need to worry about spending, you don't even need to worry about spending on another tractor if it's, um, if it's uh, mowing all that. All you really need to do is get a, maybe a spare tractor, or, uh, like one you're already using. I just clip a um, this trailer and this do dolly here to transport the thing because this only goes 12 up, 12 kilometers an hour. So yeah, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.